Veil. You just uh, staring up at that camera since I put that there. Veil. Hi. What is that? That the camera? Hello. What what's up there? Look at mommy. You just staring at that. Oh Hello Hi. How you been today? Oh, hi. You talking back? What you been up to? No, nothing? Just doing the one month old thing? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. 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 You gonna do what mommy does? Stick your tongue out. Mm. Oh, there's that camera again. Do, 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 do. You see that camera there, huh? See the camera? Are you ticklish yet? You got some little spit up. That's all right. Do, 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 do. Are you ticklish yet? <laughs> What is that? Is that camera up there? What's that camera doing? Say hello. Hello. Say hi, everybody. Say, I'm Belle Midnight Smiley, and I'm one month old. Look at me grow. Yay. Hi, Belle. Can I give you a kiss? Mm. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Belle. Say, so you just want to know what that thing is staring at you, huh? Yeah. Belle. Do, 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 do. Are you ready to put some clothes on today? Can I get some clothes on? How about this shirt? This shirt today? Say that the camera is just way too interesting. You like this shirt? Look at this shirt. How about that? Let's put this on. Hi. Them little eyebrows. They're just so cute how you wrinkle them things up. Does that mean you're thinking about something? Yeah. yeah. Get this on. It's your outfit of the day. Outfit of the day. Do, 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 do. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Hi. Say, that might be your first word, huh? Mommy says that to you all the time. You're just scooting on down the couch, aren't you? You're scooting down the couch. Ah, oh, get you back up here. Oh, look at that. That color looks good on you. You like that too? Hi. You see me? You talking to me? Do, 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 do. Mm. Hello. Hello. 
So you're going to copy mommy's mouth. Say, ah. Say, ah. Oh, there's that camera again. That camera is looking at us, isn't it? That camera looking at us. I wonder what's up there. So look at these little hands. That's your hands. Oh, are we tired of this? Ready to go on to a new subject? Well, say we're all dressed. Say, you two family? I'm Belle. And I'm one month old. And I can pretty much hold my head pretty good, even though you see it's a little shaky. I'm not quite sure how much you weigh yet. I think you put on a little bit of weight because you feel a little heavier. I think you're trying to push up on your feet, as you can see. But you are not old enough to be trying to stand up on your feet. But there you are doing the walking thing. Let's move this out the way. Seems like every time I hold you, you try and push up on your feet like you're doing right there. Are you going to be an early walker too? Say, I'm a pretty good sleeper at night. Usually mommy puts me down at about 11 or 12. Then I'll sleep all the way to like 7 or 8 in the morning. Then I'll get up and I'll take a little nibble, a little quick breakfast. And then you might sleep a little bit till about 11 a.m. or so. But I don't think you're that heavy of a sleeper at that time. I think you were more just kind of listening to your brothers run all around. Let's see, get mommy in the frame here. A little bit more, but of course we'll have it point at you because you're the cute one. What else? You are a very happy baby. Usually, you play. You're not fussy. You like to be held a little bit. And that's usually when it's time to go to sleep. Um... Let me see, you don't really do too much with your brother, say, but you're only one month old. Uh, you don't poop and pee too much. i kind of been mixing formula with breast milk. I breastfeed him most of the time, and then, you know, when my nipples are kind of tired, I'll go to formula feeding him. Look, you see that camera up there? Pretty sure he's been noticing a little bit more. When he focuses, it's kind of funny because his eyes will cross and I can tell, you know, he'll get all excited and then he'll be looking at it. So I think he might be able to see a little bit more, but he's still one month old, so probably not too much. So you're kind of shaky on your neck, but I can see, you know, you're getting good at holding your neck up. Oh, what's up? Where are you going? Something in your mouth right there. Let anything get on my baby. What? What? Of course, as you saw, say we're trying to smile a lot more. I think you've been smiling kind of since you were two weeks old. But now you look at mommy and you examine mommy's face well of course at this age because he can't see that clearly he mostly looks at my hairline and just kind of examines my face and then when I start talking he'll smile at me so I think he's pretty much responding to how my voice is and then it's like oh oh wait I know that lady and then he gives me a big smile let's see I've noticed the talking talking to me, this little noise he makes. If I talk to him, he'll kind of look at me. And, and at first it was kind of like little sighs and such. But now it's like little, little noises, little baby coos and such. What else? Is, is that the camera up there? There we go, standing up. 
Say, Mommy's been trying oh. to get you into the air as much as we can. Go outside. I take the boys to the park and, and you go with me. Let's see. For being one month old, there's not too much going on. I haven't taken you to the doctor for your checkup, but I'm pretty sure you're due for one pretty soon. I don't know. Been through so many boys that I forget at all the schedules that they need to go to their, their pediatrician checkups. Hi. Hello. What? <laughs> Aw, he doesn't really have a loud cry. That right there, that's probably about as loud as it gets. And I think the more upset he gets, the quieter he gets, actually. So when he, he gets upset and cries, he's very quiet about it. What? Say, we're probably about ready to eat and probably take a nap. Say, I pretty much let my babies dictate their own schedule. I mean, if you try and put a baby on a schedule, you'll just be kicking a horse and it just won't work. Basically, all babies are born with their own little routine and all you can do is modify it. So like I said, you know, his day kind of goes, he gets up, I, well, we'll start with going to sleep. He goes to sleep probably about 11 p.m., midnight, and I'll know he's getting tired because he'll get kind of fussy like this, how he is now, and that means feed me, put me asleep. Oh, here, mommy, I'll hold you. That means feed me, put me to sleep. I'm getting a little tired. Actually, let's go get your bottle. I can see he's definitely. Sorry about that, YouTube family. My camera was full. The memory card was full. It's kind of is amazing because I have a 32 gig memory card, which means I've just been shooting away since Vale has been born. So what are we talking about? You don't want this? I'm deciding if he wants it or not. Oh, his daily schedule. So about noon or so, of course, he'll probably get back up, and that's when I will change the diapers, uh, you know, clean him up, put on his clothes, or if it's still kind of cold, I'll leave him in his uh, sleeper, you know, get him more to eat, because like I said, I pretty much feed him on an as-needed basis. He, you know, sets his own kind of schedule, which when he eats, I think he eats about four ounces at a time so he's three ounces he's not really a big eater he doesn't really pee too much and since I alternate between formula and breast milk um he kind of like the last couple days I think he's only pooped maybe once in the last two days but usually if he's breastfeeding more you know he'll poop probably all the time you know every other diaper change and the poop is kind of different when you're formula feeding a baby the poops kind of like a mushy yogurt kind of thin consistency but when you breastfeed it's kind of thinner but it's more seedier i think there's less of it probably because he's going more often um after that i'll pretty much do what he wants if he wants to sit in the chair, we'll sit in the chair in his little bouncer there and, you know, just kind of interact with him like he's a part of the family. Or if I'm getting ready to go somewhere, you know, I'll get him in the car seat and we pretty much go. Um, he's not really cranky ever when I take him anywhere. The only time he cries is when he's hungry. I think sometimes he'll cry after he knows that he has a poopy diaper, 
but I don't really know if that's what he's crying about or yeah because pretty much anytime I go to feed him I change a diaper I feed him that way he's ready to sleep or you know be in a good little mood um like I said see. Um, <sighs> phones as you all see these are the major reasons why I can't get anything done because I'm always getting distracted by something oh calm down I know mommy had to go take care of the phone and he's just like why did you stop feeding me it's my turn and of course they will let you know about it when they are hungry so, what we're we talking about? The schedule? Ooh. You're gonna swallow some air, buddy. I know, I know. It's just all up in your feeding time. As you see, his little eyes are getting dimmer. So, he'll probably be going to sleep after he gets this bottle. Then I'll cuddle with him. He's such a cuddly baby. I like to sit with him on my chest and then we'll kind of like put our faces against each other and just kind of cuddle. And he'll kiss on my cheeks and I'll kiss on his cheeks. Such a lovable baby. What else? So we'll go out on our schedule because usually I like to take the boys to drive around in the car. Of course I got a new car. Finally, after not having a car for since 2007, when I was in a bad accident, I just, you know, the economy's so horrible and they just don't hand out cars to stay at home moms. So, me and my husband's credit's not good. So, finally, I got a new car. Um, I won't tell you what it is, but I'll just say it's big enough to see all of us. And it's an older car. I'm not blinging like that. But, it will work. <laughs> It'll get us from A to B. So I'll get the boys in the car and we'll go to any park. You know, it's summer. I can't do too much with them. So parks are the main thing. I've kind of invented this new thing that we are going to just call ourselves park hoppers. You know, there's so many parks around my neighborhood that basically we can hop from park to park and just see which one is the best. And eventually, when it gets hotter, we'll be pool hopping because we got a few water. Can you believe that again? Another full memory card. I just picked the wrong day to do a random taping. An update, but hey, so is the life of a mom of four boys. You just got to go with the flow and do what you got to do. <laughs> So he's kind of slowed down, so I'm giving a little burp. A little trick when you're giving babies a burp, a lot of people will pat. But I like to do this. What I'm doing is kind of, well, don't headbutt me, going along his back. And I can tell when he's working on a burp because see how he's bobbling around like this? That, that means he's kind of working on a burp. Don't fall off me. And I gotta get him in there tight because I don't want him to fall off. But I like to pet and I'll kind of rub on the sides of his stomach. Kind of work that burp up this way. Then I'll pet with that. And then side to side, of course, because you got to get the burp out. You're giving me some kisses. See, he likes to give me kisses. any burps that's also how I can tell how hungry he is because 
If he's really hungry, his little kisses will go from kisses to eating my face. Hi. I also notice that he likes to look at me. When I'm holding him in my lap, he'll kind of turn his little head and he'll be, I'll look down and he'll be staring at me. So I definitely notice he's starting to prefer to look at my face. I think he also left me something in his diaper, so you hear him sucking on his fingers? Isn't that cute? So we'll definitely be doing a diaper change pretty soon here. Another way I like to apply pressure kind of to the front part of his stomach. See how brace him. Put my hands under him. Put one finger right there. Kind of put pressure to the front of his stomach with my palm. Kind of work at him that way. It might take a minute, but he will burp. I can feel his little muscles getting stronger because he's trying to hold himself up and he's not just flopping with me. Oh, it's a good burp. See, right before he burped, I could kind of feel that burp getting worked out of his system. So when you do like this, and kind of just pet on his side, you know, that kind of helps him work that burp out. See how he's not bobbling around as much? That's a good way you can tell when they need to burp is when they're bobbling and not bobbling when you go to, to try and work that burp out. So he's probably pretty good. You want to try and burp them after every about ounce, ounce or two. You don't want them to go through like a whole meal and that air be stuck in their stomach. And that, that could hurt, you know. So, of course, back to... Okay. <laughs> and obviously petting the stomach was helping the other end too. You got all that out there? So that's probably what he's working on that too. So of course, you have to pet baby, get them air bubbles out. If you don't get air bubbles out, it can make for a very upset baby. Oh, another little tip that I like to do when I'm working on air bubbles. So let's say he's pooping and he might be a little gassy. I'll set him down on his back and I'll do this. Good. If you have a baby that has reflux, you might not want to do this right after they're feeding. But since he's already going to the bathroom, you know, he doesn't have reflux. He doesn't have a, a bad gag reflex. I mean, he's really good at holding food down. As you see, when he belts, he didn't spit up. So he's, he's not a very spit up baby. But I think it's because I do this and I kind of, hello, hello. I try to make sure that not that much gas makes it past his stomach. So what I'm doing is I'm taking his knees and I'll kind of little, put a little bit of pressure, kind of put this up to his stomach and kind of do like a back and forth kneading kind of real gentle. And if you'll notice if your baby is gassy or having gas bubbles, they'll probably start pooing and farting right now. Sometimes you could do this before you do a diaper change. You know, if you tend to have a baby that has that explosive pooping when you're changing them, that's because you do this and the air bubbles push, push, you know, what they have in there out. So if you kind of do this before you change them, this will help with that exploding poo-poo too.
that this is definitely good. You know, I'm a big believer in trying to help those air bubbles out. She want baby to be as happy as possible. You leave those air bubbles in there and you will definitely have a fussy baby. So like I'm doing here, take the knees, kind of. Of course, he's letting out a lot of air already, so he's probably not going to fart. But if you notice that you have a gassy baby, oh, is that funny? Is that funny? Doing that will, doing this will definitely help. in that right. Hello. Hello. So, back to our story. I've been losing, I guess, my top area. Everything's kind of going back down after baby, so shirts are kind of falling off me, which is good because I would like to, I think I'm around 200 pounds. I've lost about 20 pounds since baby's been born. I don't know where I'm at now. But I would like to be at 150 pounds. And that's going to take some time. So, you know, y'all have to join me when I get on my weight loss journey. And I'll, you know, we'll see what works and doesn't work together. And I was pretty good at staying healthy before. I used to be 120 pounds at one point before I started having babies. And, you know, I was pretty rock solid. So I don't think I'll get that way again because four kids changes your body. But we'll, we'll work on our bodies, you know. We'll get it going. So I don't think he's... He might... He may or may not want the bottle now. You'll tell because he'll be like playing with it with his tongue. I think kind of what he's doing right now. He might suck on this a little bit, but he's probably not as hungry. I try not to overfeeding him. I mean, overfeeding babies could... What? What? Am I telling you something? Am I telling you something? But as I say, of course, when we finally get home from the park, I will start dinner, um, get big boys taken care of. He'll pretty much either be asleep or awake at that point. You know, he just kind of is in the action doing what we're doing and um you know he is more alert than when he was a newborn i would say like right now he's getting to the point where he'll be up a couple hours at a time now so probably about that time he'll be awake and he'll be starting to get hungry so i'll you know get the big kids fed get them in bed and of course he might get a little fussy because he likes to be held more in the evening time. I think he does get a little bit more kind of telling me, hey mom, me too. I'm getting sleepy too. So, you know, pick me up and start putting me to bed, you know. What? What? Mm. So after I get the boys in bed, I will feed him, get mommy's PJs on, get mommy her little dinner, and cuddle with baby. And then about 11 midnight or so, he'll start blinking his little eyes, which means he's tired. And I will put him in bed just in time to do it all tomorrow. Well, here comes my boys. They got their heads pressed against the window, and I think they're getting in. So, it's about time to wrap this up. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. I am always happy to help. And give me a thumbs up if you like. And as always, this is Mama for Boys. Mom? When you said give me a thumbs up, I put my thumbs up. Getting ready to do Mom. what I do best. Mom. Mom. Talk to you later, YouTube Record. family. Mom. Bye.